No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Let's start off with this topic. You can't trust a girl who doesn't have a charger, and you can't trust a girl who's walking. So you can't trust any hoe? No, she just needs to have a car or a bike or a scooter or something. Oh, okay. I was a say. bus pass. What if she's walking because she just likes walking, but she also has a car like me? Yeah, like everybody walks. Walking for exercise, right? I, I didn't or really think about Or just walking because it's nice. Because it's nice Yeah. to walk? Yeah, I sometimes walk down the street because it would be a lot faster than me driving and trying to find parking near the congested area we live in. You've really foiled my whole little joke. I've been talking about this whole don't trust a girl who's walking thing for a few weeks now. You just really <laughs> fucked it all up. Because you're right, exercise and it's nice. You don't want a girl that exercises? Come on. I do, but I just want them to do it within the sanctity of like a personal training facility. And it's different have... if she owns a car, but is choosing to walk versus not having the option of driving. Right, exactly. Is what you're trying to say. But okay, if, anyways, if, you know. if I just see a girl walking down the street in Hollywood, I get a little weirded out. Like, why are you walking? I mean, get a bike or a fucking lime or something. No, those are dangerous. Anyway, hi, Gina. Hey, Adam. Let's introduce you. I've been saying that you're the the SoundCloud rapper of porn for a long time now, and I really, I just want to know your feelings on that. Do you believe it? Because you're from Broward County. Like, you know, you know, just a little bit. I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you got a face tap. <laughs> you know, I got a little face tap. <laughs> I, I think I'm low-key trying to be. Nah, nah, nah. I'm surprised you don't have a song yet. Beat what it if- up, beat it up, beat it up. <laughs> What Wait, if I what, what, song what if that's I, Riley's song? Oh, okay. I but like, I but I censored it. What if I said yeah. I wrote something? If you what? If I wrote something. Do you write raps ever? Yeah, I do. Or poems? I bet you write poems. Oh, fuck you. Because you like low key have feelings and are emotional, right? Wow. Yeah. You don't take your mean? Instagram story. Uh, oh. I mean, <laughs> I love you though. I do, but I sometimes it can be a little dotty. Yeah, I see you guys see that. I'm like, damn, I look such like a loser right now. Do you feel like that? <laughs> Not really, but like, I don't really give a fuck. Like, everything's on the internet. Like, my butthole's on the internet. So yeah, just, if you can't put your feelings on the internet, but you can put your butthole out there, it's like... Yeah, so it's like, yeah. I don't really care. Like, I'll say like, oh, I'm, I'm sad today, you know? Right. Like, or like, you know, just whatever. Yeah, let it all hang out. Nobody's ever surprised when a girl's like, I'm sad. If that's I, offensive. If I went on my Instagram story and said, oh, I'm sad today, everybody would be like, what the fuck? Because that's like off-brand for me. But I definitely feel like people have a facade on social media. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah like that's just the thing. Like I'm actually kind of going through that period in my life right now where all of a sudden it feels like I probably, like I never have photos that I consider good enough to put on my Instagram. And it makes me feel like I just need to have like photographers around more and stuff because I just... Like for my birthday we just party. We talked about this. Yeah, you should have. Selfies, stupid selfies do way better on Instagram. Yeah, selfies are okay photos. to a what? certain extent. Some situations are okay for selfies, but like most situations aren't. Like there's definitely no selfies I could have got at my birthday that would have been good. I got a couple good photos in a- the club with Pert, but I didn't have anything for my birthday that I actually wanted to post. So it's kind of like. I know, there was like, a lot of stuff going we on too. We were just talking Like there was a lot. There was a dude walking around taking pictures of everybody. Yeah. Who was there was like, I don't know who he was, but he was taking a picture of you guys, but as naked. Probably a cop. But yeah. we took pictures of us naked. Yeah, that's cool. A lot of people did. I <laughs> <laughs> exposed. That didn't take long. <laughs> no, I mean, I just feel because it's like, oh, I had this whole birthday party and I got like two photos from the strip club. There's no photos of my girlfriend. There's no photos like, you know, I know I really wanted to get a shot of all of us in our outfits and then him because that's, mm. you know, we all matched. We got to redo it. But this just like an iPhone photo probably wouldn't have done the fucking job anyway. Don't you feel like, <laughs> like iPhone photos just... At a certain point, they just don't really like do the job, don't you think? I, it's all about the lighting. Oh, yeah, it's all about the lighting. No, I agree. Sure. I, I was saying the same thing. I was like, I want a photographer. Like, I just want a friend just to walk around with me, take sure. pictures. Oh, there'll probably be some walk. weirdo out there who definitely oh, walk sure. around with you and take pictures of you. For the record, Lena didn't fart. She's covering up her face because she doesn't want to breathe in the, the backwards smell. Yeah, if I farted, I'm not covering my face. Everybody likes smelling their own farts. Do they? That's what know. Cardi B said. And then I asked you about it, and you were like, yeah, everybody knows that. Like secretly, they just like start smelling their own fart. Yeah. Like they're just like, oh man, that stinks. Like, I mean, I do the cup. I will fire my own hand, and cup it up to my face, and give it a whiff. Oh, you know what's the crazy thing? What I seen? So I was looking up um, Brazilian porn. Of course, because you are Brazilian, yes, not Mexican. Yes. Like yeah. I always say. Wow. Uh, Fuck you. <laughs> what? Like that's a fucking offensive Yo, statement I'm- that you're Mexican. She went to Brazil for her vixen shoot because she's from Brazil. I just assumed you were Mexican. And I'm because sorry, I have as Brazilian. Dark hair okay. And like brown eyes. Like because you're Hispanic color. in Southern California. It's, it's like nine times out of okay, ten okay. they're Mexican. Again, right? I'm from Florida. Florida, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. get that right. No cowards in Broward. Hey. So tell, tell us about your upbringing. 
Oh, man. Dark, dark, dark. Was dark, it that? Like, is that dark? No, no, no. Well, kind of. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it takes it back. <laughs> but there's a lot of stuff. Um, damn, I don't know where to start. Well, what was like your, your family life gro- like growing up? Did you grow up with both parents? Your, what were your parents like? Let's go with that. God, this is so whack. Talking about my parents. Why? Is, it, is, it, is you had that messy of an upbringing? Um, I thought, I didn't know my dad. Um, he got deported. Mm-hmm. He got caught like doing fraud and like you know selling coke or whatever the fuck. But that I didn't know him at all. Regular Florida shit. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, didn't know him. Yeah. Everybody didn't know in him. Florida. Yeah, pretty much. And then uh, I grew up with this guy, Louis. He's like a Puerto Rican black guy. And cool. the, your mom's boyfriend or something? Um, not my sister's dad. Okay. So like I thought he was my dad my whole life. Oh. And like then I found out when I got older he wasn't my dad. Oh. But, so yeah. was that was that troubling at all or was it weird it was it was surprising because i was like who's my dad like is that moment it's like who's my dad like daddy wasn't there daddy daddy was never there like fuck right realizing that your dad wasn't there versus knowing the whole time that your dad wasn't there was that weird i think it was like not knowing how old were you when they told you um i was like in i was like in fourth grade Oh, fourth grade. Okay. I thought you were talking about like as an adult. Because I feel like by the time you're an adult, if you found out, it's kind of like, isn't it more about having the father figure, not it being your biological I would father? Not. Yeah, I would, but then it, I would rather find out earlier than later. Yeah, but then it would up. be like the random phone calls. And so he would like, I just knew him by his voice. And the okay. first time I met him, I was in, uh, I was like 12 and we flew to Brazil. Uh huh. And like, this guy was crazy. Like, if you guys knew my dad, like, this guy's insane. Like, he's, he's a cool guy, but he's like a bad guy. Really? Yeah. He's like a criminal. Well, he's doing fraud and selling code. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, he, he's like, he was really tied up with, um, he's crazy. But he, when he got deported, he got tied up with uh, John Elite, which he was like the hitman for uh, the Gambino family. Wow. And it was like a whole thing. So that he met my dad there. And So were like, you ever a hitman or anything? You want to tell <laughs> us oh anything? God. If it happened overseas, you might not be extradited. No, 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 no. no okay. Never. So what was your mom like? Um, man, <laughs> she's like, why are you asking me about my mom? And yeah, like, well, we can get deep, right? Yeah, you let me have. pry into like, your soul a little bit, damn if you my- don't mind. <laughs> uh, my mom, she's cool. She's like really open-minded person. Like she was always like, she had like nudist friends, but she grew up like in the mountains in Brazil. My dad was kind of like this street kid, you know. Like he liked getting in trouble. My mom was like, came to America really young, met him. He was a stripper. Um, so were you in strip clubs and stuff as a young girl? Shut the fuck Did you see the game? <laughs> we had a shit. You always say shut up. And I'm so glad that we have her dividing I us so you can't hit me. She always so says bad. shut up and just pushes me. <laughs> um, Sometimes I'm, I might I, let her, depending on what you say. I might let her punch her you. Her Dean right here for <laughs> protecting me. Um, actually, we had a strip a stripper pole in the house growing up. So it was cool. Did you? You were always yeah. at the strip club. Yeah. Yeah. So did you see a lot of fuck shit through your mother though? Was she like No, nah, no, nah, she was really good. Like she was really good with that. Like she would drive to Miami. Like she was like I did not even know until I got older. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was really good th- with that. But like I was a bad kid. Like, How so? I moved to Miami. By yourself? No. Oh. With your mom. Yeah, like with everybody. And my whole life changed. Like when they say like I promise you, like if you lived in Miami, you will change as a person. Wait, so you were where as opposed to Miami Um, before? Central Florida. Okay. And so it was like dead boring there? Yeah, it was like a whole bunch of kids just like doing a whole bunch of stupid shit. And then you moved to Miami and all of a sudden shit started to go crazy? Yeah. Like what? And how old were you when you moved there? Um, Like 14, 15. Okay, perfect time to start yeah. getting corrupted. <laughs> yeah, right? it's great, it's great. Perfect time to be introduced to the Miami nightlife. So, what were you doing in Miami that was so crazy? I'm good. I don't smoke on camera. Wow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was just like, I don't want to get high because I want to be able to keep. I want to keep my mind together so I can really like fuck with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like fuck with me, not ask questions. Fuck with me. You can be incapacitated. I need to be on point. This is a federal investigation. All right. Um, well, I did a lot of drugs. Okay. I was drinking. How did you start in your career of substance abuse? Was it was it drinking at first, or was it like <laughs> you make it sound so bad, bro? Yeah. I've been watching Listen, a lot of DJ Vlad lately, so look, I'm like ready. I know what to say. Look, look. So I say I always wanted to try everything once. You know, I think I'm a very open minded type person. I wanted mm-hmm. to like experiment. So I was like, um, the first time I tried weed, I was like 12. I was like 12 years old. Any particular memories of it? Did you do oh, something yeah. crazy? Jumped off the roof? 
no. Mm. Oh, Christmas. Oh, Christmas. It was like, Christmas? No, the first time I smoked weed, I was so excited. I was so excited. Really? Like, I was like, I didn't even know what weed was. They offered me. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like, some high school, like, guys were, like, asking my friend, which she was a slut. I was never a slut when I was younger, by the way. Right. I was like, wow, wow. <laughs> well, keep in mind, this story is about you as a 12-year-old hanging out with a bunch of high school boys who are giving you weed. So I'm kind of like, friends. well. My friend was like, she had big titties, like huge titties. And she was 12? No, she was like, I, okay, I was like. Yeah, 12, let's, just, let's adjust this story. Can you be 12 with big titties? It happens. Like, she was like 14. Like, she was like older than me. She, okay. Yeah. But anyway, she had big titties. <laughs> <laughs> there was a girl in my third grade with huge boobs one time. No, we yeah. all have those memories yeah, that there were yeah. girls with weirdly big boobs at a certain age that made all the other girls feel bad about themselves. That was Maybe. a big part of growing up. Yeah. I remember. Because yeah, I, so. I, was, I was in like uh, elementary school and then we went to the junior high. And it's like, all of a sudden, there were just girls with boobs. It freaked me Puberty. out. Puberty. Yeah, because there weren't really girls with boobs in my elementary school. Or at least I didn't notice because they had been slowly developing throughout my early years. Yeah, I never had boobs. Really? Yeah. Is that a condition you have or something? I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like small boob syndrome. Did you ever join any kind of committee? Bitty, bitty city committee. Yeah. I there guess so. Go. Oh <laughs> I, I almost guess got so. it. She was almost like a committee. <laughs> a committee. I used to be in that committee. Yeah. I used to be. I was. Yeah, she left us. Ten grand later. She's too good. She's too good for us, guys. I got fired. Oh, yeah. shut the fuck up! You made that decision yourself. So you start smoking weed when you're twelve. Yeah, that I tried weed, but like that was like me trying weed. Like I was smoking at my mom's house, like smoking her weed. Mm-hmm. She had. When I started smoking on my own, like you know, on the streets with my friends, I was like thirteen, fourteen. So, so what were you doing like after school at that age? Were you just going out and like just hanging out with all the bad kids? It was with the, all my homies, like, BMX. Oh, skating. they rode BMX? Yeah, all my homies. In Bay Harbor. Really? In, in Miami, yeah. So all my friends were, like, BMXers, and we used to hang out and, like, just get high. I could tell you from experience, they were probably a bunch of scumbags. I, they're still really good friends. They're still oh, my best friends. I'm sorry, guys, but, you know. I, Would you I, want do, your girlfriends to date them? Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I thought. <laughs> no, like, I know. Like, I know all the shit they do. I'm like, you're such an asshole, but I mm. love him. That's yeah. why you say to him all the time. Yeah, yeah. I know he's an asshole, but I love him. But define asshole. You're a huge asshole. What does that mean? How am I ever an asshole to you? In Not me. But I it's love other, you. How you treat other people. It's just like, is... no, you come off like an asshole. You know, just the way you look. You but know, define the way asshole. You talk. Like being rude. Well, no. it's, it, it's not even him being rude. That's just who he is. It's literally, he's just an asshole. It is who he is, but he's but an But you asshole. still haven't told me what an asshole is. Okay, open the dictionary. Right. An asshole, and there's your face. It's going to say, <laughs> it's going to say, like, like, you're like the a thing bu- that shit comes out of. No, like a bully, like a, like a... A bully now. I feel yeah. attacked. <laughs> this podcast is so this conversation a million <laughs> times. You, you're a bully. It's not that I'm a bully, I don't think. It's just that, you know, Should I Should we like get to, all your friends to come in here? Uh oh. Guys, guys. <laughs> so, anyway, at this moment, I would like to say uh, this podcast is sponsored by NoJumper.com. We got all kinds of new merchandise and we've been going crazy for the holidays. NoJumper.com. You can't even see my NoJumper shirt because it's covered up by this Gucci jacket, which is not available at NoJumper.com. But, Subtle flex. Yeah, head on over to NoJumper.com. And also, anybody who's watching this live, uh, we will be taking donations and we will be playing all your songs uh, after this. After this, is this the thing you done. do now when you want the conversation to switch topics? No, we can totally we can go stuff. right back into me being an asshole. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's convenient. You're promoting I just, your I shirt. I had to get those two things out. Oh, uh, okay. So, like, I figured that was a good time as long as you guys were attacking my personality. It's attacking. No, I mean, I don't feel like an asshole, but I feel yeah. like I'm probably like less concerned with how other people feel than most other people on earth. Yeah, and I think that's a great thing. You do? Yeah, I, I do. No, in, in some ways, yeah. I mean, I feel like not giving a fuck. And we're so opposite because I think way too much about how other people are going to feel in a certain well, situation. And yes, you he's, do. he's like, for the first birthday, I was like, we don't have enough bottles. Like, I was freaking out. Like, we need to get everybody a bottle. He was just like, it's okay. We're yeah, so it doesn't opposite. matter. If they want to get alcohol, they will get alcohol. And if we get alcohol, they will drink it all immediately. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Just so like it's how like. They smoked all the weed at the party. Yeah, before we even got there. That's why I did the liquor too. I was like, I'm fucking. Oh. Anyway, so you finished high school? Damn! <laughs> yeah, I hate you. The roast. <laughs> yeah. It's not a roast. A lot of people didn't finish high school. I barely finished. Yeah, I didn't finish high school. Why? What were you doing? 
Um, I had a I had a crazy like bringing up. Like I had a boyfriend, and I was I was a bad kid. I was partying a lot, and I just didn't go to school. Do you have all kinds of like awful like influenced boyfriends as a, as a young girl? Yes. <laughs> what what kind of stuff were were you getting into as a result of these terrible men? What do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> like you like doing heroin? Were you fucking jumping off bridges into oncoming traffic? No, nah, probably wouldn't be here. I was dating an older guy when I was really young. How old was he? Twenty-one. Oh, okay. Twenty-one, twenty-two. How old were you? Who is he? We're gonna we're gonna apprehend school. him. We're gonna send him right to. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like thirty. Right I was to in the middle clink. school. That shit was crazy. That is pretty crazy. Middle I was in, school. I was in middle Wait, school. middle school. I thought it was a high school. I was in middle school. Oh, that's fucking. Middle weird. school means that you were like eleven or <laughs> no, twelve or thirteen. <laughs> No, I was like 14, 15. Right. I was 15. I feel like in Florida, uh, that kind of thing probably happens a lot. Oh, yeah. It's like, no. <laughs> yeah, it does. Like, I remember I went to like... in the dirty south. I was with some friends and we went to hang out with some people in Florida and there was like three girls who were all pregnant and all chain smoking. And Whoa. I was just like, wow, I never really saw that before. I never but saw that either. That's here I am crazy. in Florida. I feel like a prude. I've never been in a situation like this. You've never seen yeah. a girl pregnant smoking cigs? It's super hot. You got to see Ew. it. Ew. I'm sorry. It's a huge turn on. Um, anyway, so how do you end up entering the adult world? I'm sure you have to answer this all the time. You know what? Um, there's a couple things that influence me to do porn. Mm -hmm. I was curious. Were you always interested in porn? Um, not really. I masturbated a lot. I had like a really bad masturbation problem. Like, <laughs> like a problem? <laughs> like it was a problem. What, like 15 times a day type shit? <laughs> like... And you rub one out, I gotta go to the bathroom. Like, <laughs> oh, so you just jam one out in like the middle of class or something? <laughs> no, that, that, but still, yeah, no. I would go jerk off in the bathroom during high school. Really? Yeah, I need to take that stress off. You're going through puberty is when you like really need to get rid of that stress. I mean, that was just me. I feel College, like girl, girls are different, but. Yeah, no, no. Not her. Well, <laughs> I mean, no, you weren't doing it in class in nah, school. I, I remember seeing a girl masturbating in class, so. In class? She's like humping the chair. Wow. Yeah. I seen that. That's intense. In Florida. Of I would course. have been weirded out by that. I was. I was so curious what she was doing. I probably would have called her out in front of the class and exposed her and <laughs> then made fun of her. Because you're an asshole. Because <laughs> you're a bully. I'm trying to think of like what, where my mind would have been at in high school. It's like, oh, let's tease her. Let's she tease did something her. weird. <laughs> Anyway, so you were you were interested in it. I was curious about it. I was hanging out with my friend who was um, a male talent, and he was friends with Bruno. Oh, so he's friends with Bruno. I didn't know yeah. if you're gonna name drop Bruno or if you're gonna leave that out. I don't care. Okay, so it's you were fine. hanging out with a guy who was working for Bruno, filming scenes. Yeah. Bruno from Groupie Lust. Was it Groupie Lust at the yes. time? Okay. Yes. And um, who, for those who don't know, the connection here, and this is why she's a SoundCloud rapper, is that Bruno was X's original manager and has been like quite involved with the careers of a lot of different people coming up out of South Florida. So it's only appropriate that he kind of helped get you in the game. Nah. What? Um, I mean, yeah, I do, I do, but like it was a different situation. Okay. But yeah. So you were hanging out at the the Bruno lair. Did you did you? start filming a shitload of scenes at that, that time or what? No, nah, no. Nah. I was like, I was living at, like, I left my mom's house and I started living at Bruno's house. Okay. At, at the beginning, I was stripping. I was dancing. Oh, so you were dancing before, before you? Oh. Yeah. And did you start doing that, like, as soon as you turned 18? Yep. Okay. That was a like, lot of like, as that. soon as you turned 18? Like, a month, probably a month after I turned 18. How was stripping, though? Was it, what, did you enjoy it? I was so shy. I was so nervous. Of course, because there's like a whole bunch of older guys looking at you, and I'm like, it was Tootsie, so I was like in a full new club, yeah. And so like, I would not take off my panties for a while. And they were cool. That's like, so scary. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. But it was crazy because like I, the type of person I am, I like to be pushed. Like I like to like see what happens. I want to be put in like situations. Like that's it's, it's. I don't know if that's bad, but. Well, that's kind of how you view sexuality as like a challenge. Like you, yeah. you want to just keep going crazier and crazier, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, we point. don't really like the extreme stuff. No, We've I talked don't. about it. Yeah, I'm not like like crazy like you know Adriana Chechik or like yeah. some. What does she do that's super crazy? Like triple anal, triple anal, like gangbang, like all that. But shit. no triple anal noted. Yeah, yeah. I I've done crazy stuff for sure. But, but not triple anal. No, no, no. So I was living at Bruno's house. I wasn't doing porn. I was just like hanging out with them, and they were cool. I got curious, and uh, I was like hanging out at their house or whatever. And then I was like. Yeah, I'll do it. Like, I'll just do uh, a scene. 
And usually it's funny because this is the only interview I've ever said this because usually other, other interviews, people ask me about my first scene. I'll be like, it was Reality Kings. So my first scene was for a groupie list. And, um, was it with a rapper? Or? No, okay. Eddie Baker was there. He was there. Yeah. So it was like for his... It was it was Eddie Baker's show and it was like for, with Matt Zingler. The, mm -hmm. the, when they owned, from Rolling Loud. Yeah, yeah, from Rolling Loud. It's crazy. So this is crazy. So SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it was just like way back, like four years ago. So my first scene was with Bruno, and this is when Matt, Matt, and uh, what's his name, Tyreek? Mm, Tariq. Uh, Tariq. 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 Feel terrible. Tariq. <laughs> Tariq. No, you're right. Because previously he has Tariq. not been stoked on me saying Tariq, I believe. Tyreek. Tariq. <laughs> Tariq. I think it's not Tariq because okay. that's what I always want to say. To me, in my head, it's Tariq, but it's yeah. not. It's Tariq. Tariq. I think. God, I hope so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so they used to do like small venues. So they used to like host Puya, Fat Nick, mm -hmm. um, X, and all these kids like in, in Florida. And uh, so Bruno was good friends with Matt. And so the first scene was with Eddie Baker. But they used to do a whole bunch of stuff with them. So Puya and all of them were like doing videos, and we were always around them. And um, so the first video was that. And so it was kind of like we were groupies. We wanted to meet them, and. Uh, that first scene, I got fucking wasted because I was nervous. I, and I, I didn't give a fuck. Like, it was like, you know, we're at a show. Like, we were mm -hmm. like we were lit. Like, we were getting lit. It was a, nothing bad. And um, then we went on the party bus, and then we just started fucking. And it was like, it's cool because I don't know who edited the video, but it's like kind of lit, but it's crazy because I look so at it. So is it like an orgy? Like, um, Nah, it's just like me, like, a cut, like two other girls and like two guys, like oh. two, three guys. And I this is still online. Like, People can still go see this. Yeah, yeah. It's like your uh, your rookie card. Yeah, this is like, and let me tell you something. This is like the worst I have ever gotten paid. Ever. How much? This is my first scene I ever did. How much? This. Sorry, I was about to say something. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I mean, there's, it's not uncommon for girls to get, what, like 300 bucks or some shit for, for a scene when they Yo, first enter porn, she's right? Like, Yo, this again. nigga gave me 300 bucks. For my first scene, and I fucked two guys, and I was like, it was just crazy. I was doing so much, and you got so drunk. And I, I was like, and the crazy thing is, I wasn't surprised. I wasn't like, whatever. Like I, I was like, I survived. And I was good, so I could do anything. You're you know, like three hundred bucks. I'm buying an Xbox. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but you, would you make more than that in a night stripping? Oh yeah, easy, right? Oh fuck yeah. From the beginning, you made more than that stripping. Oh yeah. Okay. I made a lot of money. So that's why it looks like way worse when you're like, fuck it, fuck two guys. And yeah, and it was like the I situation I was in, like being filmed, being put on the internet. It was like a lot of stuff. Like that. It was like crazy. Did, way more did you regret it immediately or something? Um, No. No, I didn't. Because it's like, it's it kind of. It was a thrill. It was like exciting. It was crazy. But it it's like, like a weird like experience because it's like you're doing something you want to do, but then at the same time, you know that like your parents are going to find out that all the girls you went to high school are going to be talking Everybody's shit on gonna Facebook. Watch it. The whole world Everybody. is going to find out, man. Like, right. Everybody from everywhere. And you're going through that transition because you're a regular person and then you're like transitioning to the, this different identity. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So was that tough at first or did you go, did you start doing more scenes right away? Uh, yeah, I think I did. Like, I started shooting for, like, I was an extra. Then I became an extra for, like, Reality Kings. And, like, it was, like, completely different. It was, did, like, they were super organized. Like, oh, cool. right. They're, like, official, like, some official shit. They paid you more than 300 bucks? For sure. Right. And you are yeah. just an extra? Yeah. Oh, wow. I just flashed my no having titty fucking <laughs> self. <laughs> so how did, how did you, like, start to develop into, like, being a more well-known person in the porn world or, like, person who's... More. I didn't try. You just kept doing it? Yeah, I just kept doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I just woke up and went to work every day. Yeah, I just woke up and went and sucked a dick every day. So you've been doing this for three years? Yeah, almost four years. And there was never any, were there any like big breaks or like times where your career sort of exploded or got bigger or something? Yeah. Is well, it like certain scenes or something that do it or? Um, it was definitely certain scenes like, like just, um. I don't know, like being at certain places. Like when I met you guys, people were like, all my friends started going crazy. They're like, oh my God, Adam Lena. I was like, Adam Lena? Really? <laughs> These assholes? Oh, I was a big like, part of your crew. No. Like, no. Was the first time that, that we were like seen hanging out together at that Tana video shoot that we all were in? There was a, there was a video shoot here. 
Oh we yeah, <laughs> and then was oh, that Dexter. party? It was Dexter. You guys were all drinking lean, and I was like, "Damn, any girls who drink lean are, are cool by me." Yeah, I wasn't drinking lean. No, not you. That was when I met you, though. If you drink lean, you're I think we made out. We made out that night. What night? There was, was a so video shoot Dex, back here. It was here. a Dex video shoot back here, and you showed up with Morgan and Adria. Yeah, and we all okay. like kissed, I believe. Right. Yeah. That was lit. I remember, I remember it was that. a Wednesday, and I was concerned with the drinking because I had to work out the next day. I remember that 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 was like. Very early to me, like I was like, I can't believe we're shooting a famous Dex video back here. And now I would. That I was like right when the store probably. opened. Yeah, he was cool, man. He was really nice. I, honestly, it's crazy because I met so many rappers and I didn't even know who they were. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like I didn't know who famous Dex was when we met him, so I didn't care. I was like, oh, he's cool. He's like super nice. I met Lil Uzi. I didn't know who the fuck he was. Right. Like it was crazy. Like when was that? That was um, I was chilling with the uh, Jared West Coast Care like mm-hmm. back in the day when I was eighteen, and uh, he's a homie, and like uh, we would used to just chill with him, and then. We went on his um, tour bus. I don't know, because he's, like, giving weed to all these people. Like, uh-huh. So we just met him, and, like, he was with his ex at the time. And I was like, oh, I like your hair, and, like, his purple hair, because I had <laughs> purple hair at one point. And, like, just gave him a hug, and I was like, oh, what's up? Just talking. And then I, I, th- I thought that he felt awkward, and then he left, because then, like, I don't know. I didn't see him after that. It's Maybe he did away. feel awkward. Maybe you intimidated him. <clears throat> You're bigger than him. Bigger than she's not. not bigger I just didn't him. know who he was. Probably. Like I was just talking yeah. to him, like whatever. It's okay. like, I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't know who Little Peep was when I met him. Little Peep. Yeah. I love him. I mean, yeah, I love him now too. Yeah. And I mean, like, you I know might have met now, but when I met him, I met but him it, like at a house. But, but you party. probably met Peep before he was like that famous. Yeah, he wasn't that famous, but also I had no idea. He was just this shy kid at some You also just don't really know anything about rap. Let's be real. This is true. I don't thought I was lying to him one of the first times we were hanging out when I told him I didn't know who Suicide now. Boys were. He was like, why are you fucking with me right now? I was like, I oh, know, I really don't Because it was just unthinkable to me that a girl was trying to hang out with me that didn't know who Suicide Boys and How Bones were. How did you guys were. meet? DMs. Yeah. She, was, she was looking for some dick. Shut the fuck up. Absolutely not true. I had the supply. Shut the I offered it up. <laughs> Absolutely you know, not true. You know, true. somebody asked me that question. And I was like, I think it was through like the DMs or something. Yeah. Like, but it was because I reached out to him for work one time. Was when a I, fan. I was a fan. I liked your fucking wow. podcast. I liked the EDM interview you did with Dylan Francis. We've been there before. Okay. <laughs> this is why I don't know about any rappers. Because I liked your fucking EDM interview. Right. <laughs> so anyways. Um, Rare circumstance. What are you saying? Certainly hungry. I'm just gonna say that. Video. Also, <laughs> do you remember right the there. second time we hung out with uh, Gina? Yeah, we went to the party that you guys threw. Oh, the jungle party! The jungle party. What yeah. is the jungle party? Uh, when I was rolling balls, balls and you stuck your hands down her throat, and this video still gets. Oh wow! <laughs> and then me and her and you started making out. Right, we were in front off, of like everybody outside. We were off hella Molly and, and, shit. and you were saying crazy things. I started talking a little too much. <laughs> crazy what shit. Are you I, saying? I don't remember. That's I just like different. told her. I just mentioned something that I had done with a girl who was at the party prior, oh, and then it was like, oh, was cool. Like, I don't want to know that. I mean, I didn't care, but I was like, why are you saying this right now in front of everybody? You think this is the time the, and place? I was off thirty Mollies, and I just was talking. Yeah, yeah. that gets. But like I that. was like, oh shit. Damn. Yeah, I should have not. Yeah, you and then I uh, got my Snapchat deleted that night too because you were sucking my dick while another girl ate your ass. Oh, uh, I remember. I, I know, was so I fucked up that I put it on the snap. Yeah, I know what that You can't mean. do that. If I go all the way back on my phone, I can still find that video and be like, that gold. Moment, that moment. That was the day. That was hot, but I would not do that again. On Snapchat? Or anywhere on well, Snapchat or Instagram, yeah. I'll put it on my private snap. <laughs> we should get you on. People <laughs> <laughs> watch. Yeah. No, they would, but I don't know. Do I really want to like start competing with Lena? I think I, I started a podcast. You started private Snapchat. It's a race. Yeah, I mean, I could have a private Snapchat, but am I going to use it? I don't know. And how often? <laughs> hey, babe, how often am I doing anything shit. sexual? <laughs> you just jerk off. I mean, it would be a great way to get you to like bring more girls around and stuff. Like, babe, I, I bring I, so many girls around all right, the time. But, you know, I'm just saying, like, if I needed content for my private snap, then that would be. Wow. A, like, let's hey, not go babe, down this road. Let's not go down this road. No, but th- what almost? Just, no, no, no. Just hit up your rapper friends. They have a whole bunch of bitches. You're good. Yeah, but they're not gonna slide hey, t- over do a to me. Ta- do a takeover on my Snapchat today. The <laughs> rappers are always asking me for bitches because I know porn stars, oh, and then yeah. it's like, you know like what? you're right because they always ask me. Yeah, and it's and like I'm the porn star. It's like, like, what exactly. the fuck? These, am I not enough? You think these famous porn stars want to hook up with your mid ass? Like you got 40k and it's all Same. fake, and it's just kind of like you know, it's like if if it was 21 Savage, like yo, introduce me to that girl. I'll be like, I right, bet. Because yeah. like, I would assume it would probably be a good reaction. Yeah. It's always Although hard. Although you could just DM the girl. I do hit up porn star girls about my friends who want to meet them when, when I they, I think it's a good idea. You know? 
You're the clout matchmaker. I don't want to like pass you a dude that wants to meet up with you if I think that he's just a thirst ball or if he's a weirdo. Are you guys gonna like set me up with one of your your rapper friends? I mean, I'm down. But don't you feel like you could just DM one of them or that? I'm just so lazy. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm so lazy. Hey, let's be like, real. I'm I, just like not gonna. Do I that. tried, and then one of them got really upset about you hooking up with me and her. <sighs> that See, happened. I know you ruined it for me. But was that weird for you? It fucking sucks. Yeah. It sucks. But when you choose us over him, anyway. I mean, in the long run. <laughs> Wait, but did you like him? Huh? Did you like him? Like him? I did. I, I didn't I know that. Him. There's a whole missing piece of the puzzle here for me. But you guys weren't like seeing each other or anything, right? Uh, yeah, we were. Like that? Yeah. For how long? For about, Since we like introduced you guys? Oh, wait. Who were you guys talking about? Well, now I don't want to say. Yeah. <laughs> the one that you're just telling us at my, about, yeah, yeah, at yeah, my yeah. apartment. No, 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 no. Oh, you're oh. talking about somebody else. No, 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 yeah. Somebody Ooh. else got mad at you about hooking up with us. Yeah, I think low-key a lot of people are just like, because it's, it's, it's just like, I don't think mad, but people are just like put off. Put off? Of course. Why? Just because they're jealous? No, because it's like you're like somebody, like a image in the in the culture and in, in, in the whole industry. You feel me? So right. it's like because it's out there, they're just like, oh, like you know. No, I get that. Yeah, I'm not a dude, I, so I don't like take any of it. Well, I, in or... the same time, like I, I respect it, but I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like most of these dudes fuck bitches anyway. Like you fucked everybody I know. Like yeah. And the reality is that like, do these guys know that there are literally videos of you having dicks put in your asshole on the internet that they could watch? Yeah. Because that to me is probably like more of a thing than you sleeping with me and her in private. And it, but when we fuck, it's like we're fucking as friends. Like we're all just having yeah, fun, yeah. you know. And that's, what, that's how I see. It. Like and when it, I see Gina, I like kiss her. I'm like hi, like you know. And that's the difference. I feel like a lot of people like get that confused. Like in, yeah. in life, like people just yeah. think like. Oh, like oh, sex like means I really fucking like like you. Or it's like we're like, playing like a the, game. It's like, like we're just having, having fun. fun. Yeah. Like let me tell you, like I've hung out with people like, and like people who are up there and they have like this crazy lifestyle and everybody's fucking, everybody's kind of like free. Like it's, it's like a free thing. Like, you know, it's nice. Like right. there's no judgment. Like everybody's cool. Like fuck who you want to fuck. Like you still yeah. got love. Everybody's going to respect you the same way. And it's not like a disrespect. Yeah. Shit. Like people like have like this disrespect towards like just sex or like fucking people. Like just going around. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's weird to me. Cause actually I feel like you and Riley are the only girls that, I mean, Lena, like, she wouldn't really care about us hooking up in almost any context. Although. Yeah, we all like fuck like like it's a regular thing. It's not weird. Well, at all. because we love Lena. Like, I actually I only love fucked him. you once. What? He's still mad. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. It's not like a super regular thing. <laughs> I'm just saying. We sucked his, her, your dick together like two days ago. Right, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That was hot. It was my birthday. But what were you gonna say? I I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, where did I just let myself in this whole conversation? Um, okay, so I feel like I'm getting high again. Gina, okay. you are a SoundCloud rapper only because you literally don't stop smoking the whole time I'm around you. <laughs> you are a nun because you are the only person I know who can't handle being around weed. I just get high and I get Would it be weird. an interesting interview if you got Bruno here? Would you ever with do you? That? Not with me. Get the fuck out of here. Do you think Bruno deserves credit for turning out girls like you and Abella? Um Somewhat, yeah. Was yeah, there like but I, he never? We was not like we were never that close. Like we were close enough to where I lived at his house, and like we would have conversation. We'd go out. I would go out with his girls, but like he would never like fuck with me like that. Like he never did anything to me. He, we like I worked with him. Did he like, like convince you to get into the business though? No. Okay. That's no. good. I guess yeah, he never did that, but. I feel like that's kind of a thing in the porn world is like whoever, like the first person to get a girl into porn is like a big claim to fame afterwards for that dude. No, I don't believe in that. You know, no, but I'm saying that's how they treat it. Yeah, that's whack. Why? It's like taking a girl's virginity, but on like a no, more it's public not. scale. It's the end of the day, like a bitch wanted to do that. Right. Like, you feel me? Like, I wouldn't have gone there if I didn't want to. But don't you think there's so many like impressionable young 18 year old girls who no. are. You don't think so? I was like super like bad when I was dating a fucking 20 year old, one year old guy when I was like 15 years old, like 14 years old. Like, right. I was already like corrupted. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you feel me? I, I was curious. And then seeing that shit was crazy. Like, you know, like everything was just like different. And, you know, it, it's just like I wanted to experience life. 
And that's what I did. Like, it's like being an avatar in like this world. And you're like, I get to do whatever the fuck I want. Like, do you think that you were too eager to like do all of the bad things and like get out there? Oh yeah. That's probably like, if I would never have kids, like for a reason, because I don't think I'm a good example, but that doesn't mean you can't have kids. Yeah. Yeah. But I just, I don't think in life I'm a good example. Like you're only 21, Gina. Give yourself some credit. Yeah. you're, You're You're a baby. You're at the beginning of your life. I believe in you. Oh, you are so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. For for me, it's like when I was younger, I very much like had that mentality of like, you know, I, like having the idea of having kids seemed impossible because it's like, oh, you're like bringing them into this fucked up world. And then as time goes by, you realize like, that's ah, not that fucked up. Everybody's just bullshit. Yeah. This world's yeah. fine. It's fucked this up. But at the end fine. of the day, it's like you survive, get over it. Like yeah. your pains. Yeah, your that's too much work, over. man. The world you're bringing <laughs> a kid. Too much work. The world you would be bringing a kid into is better than like any scenario for any I other person great life. brought into the. I gotta say, I lived a great life. You have lived a great I life. You're 21. Why are you I lived, like, I lived, oh, okay. I lived. You're acting like you're like gonna die tomorrow. You never know. When did the bag start to get right in terms of porn? <laughs> The first day, not the first day. Not the three hundred dollar <laughs> check. Not that three hundred dollars. Well, that's, that's you probably check. still needed three hundred bucks at the time, Connor, right? You, like, what, why not? The fuck it. Well, I'm not gonna complain over three hundred bucks. No, yeah. You probably didn't even know about negotiating and rates, anyways. No, she gonna be like, it was just like we didn't even discuss about yeah. it. We didn't even discuss it. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about like the situation I'm in today is not the situation I was back well, then. I would this, hope, yeah. this was like, it was crazy. Like, hey, you wanna do porn? I was like, okay. When did you make the move to LA though? Um, I, was, I think when I started actually shooting like real porn, it was like five, six months. Cause then shooting in Florida. Oh, really? I was living in Florida shooting porn for like five months, five, six months. And then I started flying out to LA and then flying back to Florida and flying to LA and then flying to Florida. And then you were like, fuck them. I just yeah, stay I just out can't there. move to LA. Like, I can't. Like, I'm working too much. Right. Were you always like just working as much as you possibly could? You know what? It's like like having an agent, you know? And they just start booking you like crazy? Yeah. Which is fucking crazy and it's retarded, I think. Really? Yeah, because it's like it's like oversaturating or like, you know, but that's probably why I became so popular. Because you, you just start flooding the market like, a, yeah. like the rapper that you are. <laughs> Put out a lot of freestyles. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so... What what do you consider your major like accomplishments or accolades in the porn world? Like things that you've done that you're proud of? Um, penthouse pet of the year. Really? Well, I didn't even know that. Yeah. What year? Though I guess that this was year. just recently. This year. Wow. Yeah, pay attention. Man. Talking to the mic, babe. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Penthouse pet of the year. Being victim angel. Becoming a Spiegler girl. Um. Shooting for young Emmys. Video. Wow, that is an important thing. You were on set for Young Ma's directorial yeah. debut, right? She was cool. I, I was very... What was it like? How did how was this proposed to you before it happened? Um, they just asked me. They wanted me to be the the main like the main role. So I was like, yeah, for sure. That's it. I just got a phone call. They call it from, por- <laughs> from Pornhub, and they're like, you want to shoot? I was like, for sure. That's it. Yeah. And then they showed up. She showed up with all her boys. And, like, everybody was drinking. They were, like, getting lit on set. She was with all dudes? Yeah. And they were all drinking Henny? Yeah. Wow. I, I drank too much Henny this this weekend. It's like, just Henny does not sound good right now. Yeah. My fucking yeah. head is still like, no, don't drink. Yo, everybody was fucked up after your birthday. Yeah. Yeah. I don't a lot know of wounded that. soldiers. A lot of my friends had a couple of rough days after that. I'm still having a rough time. One had to tow his car. True. It's weird how you have a birthday. It's supposed to be this like big celebration. Everything's supposed to be so great, and then you want to kill yourself for a day afterwards. I literally woke Adam up with the IV doctor. <laughs> I, I went to the spa. It was so nice. Oh, yeah, she's did. baller. She if she wakes up and she has a, hang- a hangover, boom, IV doctor, and it's so sick. She's fully gotten me addicted to it. You're just I've never done it before. Oh, you should do it. So basically, tell tell them how it works. The this person comes to your house like they have like a nurse's license or something they hook you up with the iv and it just gives you like a bunch of water right into your bloodstream and all these vitamins and it they have anti-nausea in there and anti um inflammatory so you just like your hangover. yo it's fucking cold in here is it just me I'm cold shaking. yeah i'm like shaking i'm like 
I think you're just getting cold because you're nervous because I'm asking you about the dirty, filthy depths of your porn <laughs> career. Oh, fuck you. Real talk. They're cut with this huge lights everywhere I'm and like, stuff. I'm like, oh my God, Adam, I thought we were friends. I could turn the AC off though. Well, yeah. I mean, not really because I'd have to like make somebody else go do it. <sighs> but um, they might be listening. Are they you having a bad time at this interview right now? No. I'm just... I feel like I'm kind of forcing you to examine things in your, your upbringing that you were like not really thinking about. No, I just don't talk about those things, you know? Mm. Well, we can talk about, like, right now. We can talk about whatever the fuck. I don't give a fuck. What's, like, the best thing that's happened to you because of the porn thing? Um, fame. <laughs> <laughs> what, having 667K on the gram is, wait, is the best part? Is that think, it? I don't think it's 670K. It's like, like, let, so let me check. Come we got to get somebody to get you, like, a proper Instagram at so that you don't have to be the real Gina Valentina anymore. I have 759,000. Mm-hmm. Can you just like scoot in a little bit more? And also <sighs> the best part of this whole podcast was when you put your hair behind your ear because for a minute it, like, in the camera angle, you look like Cousin It because your hair was completely covering <laughs> your face. Fuck you! No, I'm just saying. You had like a little bit of a, like your whole face was covered up like a freaking lampshade or something. <laughs> Maybe I like to cover my face. What? Whoa. What? Um... What what do you feel what what are like the the things that you've done in porn that were like challenging? You've never done DP? Oh no. No. No, no. no. Why not? Some girls That's just do much, that right man. away. That's too much. Too much stuff it's going too in much, there. Too much. Too much. Just too much like like my like this like one guy here, one guy there and like in my head like oh my god, like I'm getting fucked. You've never know? done it in your personal life? No. Okay. Do you think people really do that in their personal like you life? Think I'm like, "Hey, you guys want to fuck me like two guys like you and your best friend. Let's go." If you said that to <laughs> me and Chris Long, I'd be like, "All right, but no, you wouldn't. You'd be like, your dick's touching my yeah, stop your balls it. balls are going to be clapping. <laughs> but that see, that's what happen. I want to know. I want to know if that would bother me. It would bother you. You think? Yes. We, one I time we were watching a porn was... and I didn't realize like there was going to be some like the, oh, there was a guy spitting, in a, a girl spitting in the guy's mouth or something and you turned it off. You're like, this is weird. There was just something really vanilla and you're like freaked out. I'm like, not freaked out by a girl spitting in a guy's mouth, but actually that does sound hella gay. Yeah, you're right. No, it's you not. spit in my mouth the other day. You like pulled it wide open. I love like I, like again. I'm I guess I'm fucked up, but I love like dirty shit. Like I look, I want a guy to like spit in my mouth and like choke me and like yeah. We we're just talking about this. In my mouth and like just like you were ma- you were making me feel weird because I told you I like hardcore stuff, but you were saying so I would never like. <laughs> Wait, what do you like? I told her I look at I look at rough gangbangs sometimes. <laughs> oh really? I mean, I knew I'm just curious to watch it, but I would never want to do it. Yeah, obviously it's fucking fantasy. That's why you watch it. That's why we do it for you. But have you ever but done you a gangbang? I have never. <laughs> I've done a blow bang. I've done a How many bang. guys? Oh man, uh, fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna look that up tonight. Yeah, let's go watch that. Do you want You don't want us to watch it? I don't. I, I, I don't it. like to watch my friends' porns. I can't. Fucking Riley just, has like, so many. The thing is, like, when I get on set, I just kind of let go. Like, you know, you get there and you just l- let go. How much do you get to suck fifteen dicks? A lot a of row? money. How much? I can't tell you that. Really? Yeah. I me. know how much Riley got paid for a gangbang. You're not supposed to tell people. I'm not going to say it. I just know. I tell you, you're <laughs> such an asshole. No, but I'm just saying, like, you know, I, I feel like a lot of girls are pretty open about that. But no, but no, I they're not. On, on a on a. A podcast is like a weird place to say it. And you're outing your girlfriend. Outing? Yes. As if Riley would care about that. I'm just saying that when you're when you have a situation where you're dating someone. Don't touch me. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever. I hate you. You always fucking do this to me. What? Nothing. You're big mouth gossip Perez Hilton queen. I literally didn't say it. Listen. Do you see what he does for a living? Yeah. Obviously, do you know who you're dating? I know. You I, that's why I can't anything. tell she's, anything. She's, she's been in denial for years about what, about like, who oh, she's dating. I'll be yeah. like, please don't <laughs> tell anyone. I'm gonna secret. tell you, and he fucking tells everyone. You never from said his that. Friends. And, and also, I didn't say it. So no. you're getting you're literally railing against me right now about something that I did not do because I did not say. Okay, it. but I'm saying in the past. Okay, guys, love, love, me acknowledging love. how that I know something is very different than me saying the thing. But you acknowledging that that you know something means that I told you something. So what? She would not care. This is why I. Don't this is not date. Even a real fight. This is why I don't let my girlfriend on the podcast. <laughs> no, because I mean, I didn't, I didn't say it. I'm not actually mad at you. Well, you're acting pretty damn mad. But um, funny. fifteen guy blowback. <laughs> yes, I feel like happens. a lot of people are very curious about what that might be like. I don't think I've necessarily interviewed a girl who's talked about that. Um, 
such a cool guy. But was know? is there like what's going through your head on like dick six? <laughs> is your mouth raw at that point? No, I just like I said, I just like go. Like I just don't like I just don't care. Like I just go with it. And do they come out like five at a time, like a basketball game? This is what I say. What? I go and say I'm like, guys, just go for it. Like, you guys can't fuck me. But you guys can like use my hands, use my mouth, put your fingers in whatever holes you guys can and entertain yourself. Like you feel me? But like go for it. Entertain yourself. Yeah. I love that attitude. It really feels like that. That's how more people should look at the world. It's just go crazy. No, because when we were interviewing Nicola Shea, she said something that really like stuck with me. She said, I have a very open minded policy on sexual harassment. I tell people just go for it. <laughs> she <laughs> was, was sexual like, harassing me the whole time. So well, not, sense. Like, <laughs> not like at that point. Like, you feel me? Like, obviously, like, I'm not going to go in public and like fucking like, I'm just going to go for it. Like, yeah. No, but it's, it's in the context of a like, fucking movie. It's like, yeah, you know? like in a fucking movie. Yeah. I'm like, I just want to just just have fun. Like, you know, I don't care. Like, I just want to have a good time. I want you to have a good time. But like, yeah, for that. That was insane. Like, was it insane? Were you though? exhausted oh, yeah, after? It was crazy. Um, yeah, like my eyes were so fucked up. Really? <laughs> Why? Just there was too much nut in your eyes. <laughs> Wait, they all they nutted all. on your face, huh? Yeah, every- so you had like a whole pancake of jizz. <laughs> Whoa! I think that. See, that's where I think like I'd be like, oh, this all looks, looks kind of gross to me. Yeah, obviously, that's just like just like a lot going on. No, yeah, that's cool to me. You know though. what's worse? I want to see it. Okay, all so there. I did two two blow bangs. Okay, and one was a, with a whole bunch of black guys, which I loved. They were great. Why they, black guys are better in porn? They're just great with blow bangs and shit like they're that. Dicks. No, they're just not scared. Like, are they all just browing down and like it, fist bumping it, each other the whole yes. time? <laughs> they talk shit like they're just like crazy like. They don't like they're like they have fun they have fun with it you mm-hmm. know they're not shy, and then I did another one for another company with white guys. Yeah, with and it was terrible. Oh, I hated it. Why? What, 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 what was different it. about the? <laughs> I hated it. It sucked. All oh, the black guys God. watching this right now are just like, were they just like too, yeah. were they too timid or something? DJ, yeah, they just were single. like holding back. They were like not sexy. Like you want them to be more aggressive. It just wasn't sexy. Like, I didn't feel like it was, like, you know, like, wh- like the whole point of it is, like, there's one girl and guy's supposed to go, like, they you know? They didn't make you feel wanted enough? Like, it, it just, yeah, like, they, it's a different thing. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's, like, a, it's a weird element. Do you feel like black guys get into porn because they're naturally endowed with massive penises and white guys get into porn because they're fucking creeps? <laughs> I shouldn't say fuck you. Uh, <laughs> no, because I think I hit the nail on the I know, head. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I always hear from different porn girls that black guys a run the big dick porn world because at some point, like people kind of have gotten less interested in seeing like an average size penis fucking a girl, so they want to see a giant dick. Um, from what I've heard, and black guys just have a monopoly on giant dicks. I hear. You know that whole world of the. Um, Interracial and sex is really different. Really? Yeah. It's different from, and it's crazy. Like, people don't know that. What do you mean? Like, like in porn, it's yeah. different because if, it's if, considered a different thing for girls to do interracial, which yes. is bizarre, but. Yeah, yeah that's weird. Which How is, do you feel about that? You know what's crazy? You were sucking black pole from the beginning? <laughs> no. Oh, really? Yeah, Why not? I held You're racist? Out. No, I held out. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucked up. No, not at all. <laughs> That's not, not, that's not the fucked up part of this conversation. <laughs> um, not, not, not at all. I just held out because it was more money into it. So and that that's what it is. You have to wait to fuck. You have to fuck only white dudes for a while until you've built up the amount of demand there is to see you suck a black dick. Are you really this cold? Oh, oh I am, mama. I have to. I have to go and tell. I'm gonna be right back. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Okay, what were we talking about? I'm freezing. We're <laughs> talking about you have to wait to fuck a black dick on camera <laughs> <laughs> this is such a sad moment it's like she told me to, i know to you had to wait to and like, a so, the question. <laughs> so now you guys are freezing to death i'm well, trying to warm her up this is, is a strange like reaction for a brazilian woman too by the way nobody she else was is cold, cold at the house really yeah do you have the problem a lot look how much yeah. smaller than us she is and she's smoking all this weed i feel like when i get high i get cold you get cold a lot yeah do you I think that's a, a window into why you are the way you are what you Why are you trying to psychoanalyze her You have a low here? body temperature, so therefore you might be trying to supplement it with some fucking wieners. 
But you're cold on set because you're not wearing anything. Yeah, I heard. I, I heard being on set means you're cold all the time. I hate being on, on set. It's I would tell them to turn the heat up in the, in the. No, apartment. because then your makeup starts coming off, and there's a bunch of other people and lights. I rather sweat. Well, when you're doing a 15 guy gangbang, the makeup coming off is no kind of part bang. of the deal. B- blow bang. <laughs> When you're taking 15 nuts to the face, it's like the makeup coming off kind of just seems like a it's a default setting. How much did you want to wipe it off when it's on your face? That would kill me. Oh, like nowadays, like I'm just like, pee. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> just like spit it out. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, shit. I like it. <laughs> you drop the blunt on your vagina? If you burn your clitoris off, this is going to take a weird turn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now I kind of like suck the dick and I'm like, when he comes, I'm like, Kind of just like rub it on my lips. <laughs> Why you don't want it all the way down your mouth? Why? I'm over it. I'm over the, the taste. You're of over cum. jizz, bro. You've like, been in the game. Let too me long. tell you how much cum I fucking swallowed. It's a lot tell of me. fucking cum. How many gallons? <laughs> <laughs> too many. Two, two fifteen. I blow bro, bro. I did another one the, with the white guys. I hated it. Just I'm sorry. Did the white guys jizz taste different? No, no, no. Because the white guys the desserts because they had to jizz in my mouth. And like, oh. like the, I could not spit it out. Like that was the whole point. The whole time. Yeah, like I had to wait till each guy netted in my mouth. It was disgusting. And you had to you just hold it, and you couldn't swallow. No, really? I had to wait till the end to swallow you it. You swallowed it? Yes. Oh. Yes, it was disgusting. <laughs> no, I, I mean that, that doesn't. This even... fucking this surprised me, but I just like I, I don't think I can do gross. it. It was like I felt like. You can't do that. Like, I didn't know that you can't do that because I felt sick afterwards. Really? I felt sick. Like, I was like, my friend picked me up from work. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is a normal day at work. Imagine, like, pick me up from work and then I'm like laying on the couch just like fucked up. I'm like, oh, my stomach hurts so bad. I'm like, you got juice. <laughs> Wait, because you <laughs> swallowed all that juice? Yeah. So now you try not to do that. Yeah, it's just like, I feel like maybe after that. Blow bang out, just like no more juice. But, <laughs> it's but, like when you eat something and then you puke it and you never want to eat that thing again. I wanted to puke so bad. <laughs> but so, wait, does white cum taste different than black cum or is it pretty much the same? I feel like we need to know. I think it's what you eat. Mm. But like all the like all the black dudes were drinking that day and they were like smoking backwards and shit. So it tastes So you can good. taste the backwards and the henny it's and the amazing. nut. amazing. Really? It was amazing. <laughs> she was like, yeah. It got high. I might have to try some. <laughs> <laughs> Your cup tastes like weed Whoa, all the time. Whoa, massive <laughs> pause. I take that back. No, because one time, one of the first porn star girls I hooked up with, I'm not in her mouth, she says, wow, your cum doesn't taste like McDonald's like all the guys I work with. And that just made me start thinking, like, are all these porn dudes just eating McDonald's so their cum tastes like McDonald's? But then I started thinking, there's all these different things on the menu at McDonald's. Isn't she vegan? I don't know what the fuck she's doing. But McDonald's? I don't know. You ever tasted nut and was like, that tasted like fast food? Oh, man. I tasted nut and tasted like battery acid. That shit was oh. gross. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Do you think they had a disease or something? Yeah, I know. I must have like an STD. <laughs> Whoa, we lagged. I'm just saying. Like, saying like, <laughs> battery acid. Like, I don't even know what that tastes like. You're just assuming, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you tell me about the Pedialyte thing? What is with the Pedialyte oh, thing? Okay. And the P. Wow, that was a pee? really bad joke. I take that back, man. I think it does have to do with pee, actually. That's why I wasn't yeah. like, laughing. Oh, okay. Is it um, for squirting? Yeah, so like there's squirting scenes and like switches, like pissing scenes. But yeah, tell us about gonna, squirting. Gonna, I'm going to tell you something about squirting. Okay. So if your girl's telling you she's about to squirt, she's pissing on you. Right. Yeah. I don't care who she is. But okay, listen, I believe that in my life, I've definitely like, no. girls have squirted while I was having sex with them and okay, I don't think that, they were peeing. No, there's pee. It's a little bit pee. pee. But I feel like they are having like an uncontrollable orgasmic esque reaction. I think no, every girl is totally different bladder, when it comes to that shit too. You're pushing their bladder while you fuck them. And like when you pull out sometimes, like it'll just be like tink. I, I really feel like that needs to be examined by the scientific community. It's everybody more. like like this research. It's pee. Right. No, it I have read that. Yeah. It's pee. It's pee, 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 pee. Now if you drink Pedialyte, it's gonna taste really sweet. Like really, really sweet. I've done squirting things. So it's like you're just having Fanta just rain down upon <laughs> you. Like yeah, it's like sweet. You say sweet, but yeah. is it like sweet like what like Kool Aid compared to a drink? So does it smell like pee? Like let's say you drink a strawberry Pedialyte, it's gonna taste like strawberry Pedialyte. But how gross is it having a girl squirt on your face and is actually just piss and you're just getting blasted in the face by pee? Is that weird or? Oh yeah, sometimes yeah. It's like if depending on the situation and the girl, I'm like it's disrespectful. 
Yeah. You me? I feel like a lot of things that happen in the context of porn are pretty disrespectful if you like remove it from the, the porn context. But it's like, I feel like porn is like wrestling where there's like a rest, two wrestlers can be in a wrestling match and obviously the outcome is staged. Like they know who's supposed to win and stuff. But like during the actual thing, there's all kinds of little things that they could do to like hurt the person or fuck with them or whatever. And I feel like porn girls are sort of engaged in these sort of reindeer games while they're doing porn where like, you know, a girl could like be fucking another girl and like fucking shove her head into the corner of the couch and be like way too aggressive to her. And like maybe oh, yeah. the people on who are watching don't know but it's like yeah, that's her I've way of fucking with that. a girl well um yes yes that does happen yes i'm i'm just crazy i don't know if i should name drop <laughs> i feel like a bitch because if I, it's a really gnarly story maybe you shouldn't name drop so you can really tell us the gnarly details but what if i don't care no yeah expose them hoes <laughs> <sighs> no no that's really fucked up i kind of do yeah, it's a code of silence <laughs> there's a code of silence in the porn world right like you don't, you wouldn't go on a podcast and be like, "So and so did this to me," and like just expose shit that you wouldn't want somebody to expose about you, right? Yeah, but I'm really nice to everybody. Right. You don't think you've done anything yeah. bad that someone wants? But if you like expose. accidentally pooped in a girl's mouth or something, no. I have a girl. I, ha- I had uh, one girl fucking fart in my mouth. It was disgusting. What? Really? On yeah. purpose? No, it was an accident. Oh, yeah, it was by accident. Was it really that it was, bad? It was like, like a poop. Oh, it was just a little. P- I feel like that's happened <laughs> to me too, actually. Yeah, it's happening. What if, it was, a guy, what if a guy farts while you're giving head? Is that even ew. a big deal? Ew. Gross. Like, that's what I'm going to say. Like, ew. What if it's like a bubbler? Like, bubbler, And you can feel it <laughs> bubbling up. <laughs> Actually, I worked. I have a... He's a friend. His name's McBlue. And, but he's a talent. He's married. He has his girls pregnant and everything. Congratulations. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, All but right. he, he would fart on set and I'm like, yo, like I'm about to fuck you. Stop farting on set. Please. <laughs> I'm a fart on you while I fuck you. I don't care. I would go outside on the balcony and fart. Yeah, probably. right. No, you would not. If I, if it was in a, have you ever seen me fart during a sexual scenario? No. No, but you fart in public all the time. Well, yeah. <laughs> Duh, I'm a human. <laughs> I, mean. I fart in, in public, but like I could never imagine being in like a threesome with you and another girl and just... <laughs> I'd fucking kill you. <laughs> I don't think whatever kind of natural charm I might have, I don't think is gonna like really. I don't. I don't think it'll overpower me letting loose a real wet one during the threesome. Yeah, no. You're hot, babe. Am I? But you're not fart during sex hot. Yeah. <laughs> but do you think that like James Franco could get away from letting loose a, no, a real yeah. wet fart? No. You would let him no, fart yeah. on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Actually, damn. I'm about to say some crazy who, shit. Who would you let fart on actually, you? Actually, I've had a guy piss in my mouth. A, a celebrity? No. A, a talent. Yeah. And how was that? Because I loved him. He was great, and I was like, you can piss in my. I mean, I've yeah. seen you, we, we were at the AVNs together, and I've seen that you have like a sort of special reaction with certain male talent where you, you can tell that you just have like a bond because the fact that you've like, you have that trust and you've done disgusting things to each other on camera. And it's like, you see this dude and you just jump on. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so happy to see you. And it was just like, wow, that's like, that's a real connection right there. Yeah, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like I got in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was like, you know, back then it was really exciting, you know? Okay. But now I'm just like, now they're like, now I see them all the time. And I was just like, you know, it's like. Well, this was like less than a year ago. Oh. I, oh. Fucked, a, I <laughs> fucked a lot in a year. <laughs> Do you know, do you have any idea how many guys you fucked? No idea. I kind of stopped keeping track over the course of I our relationship. No I always had a really good list, like my whole life, and I've I've tried to keep it up to date, like throughout a relationship. But I don't. Now I have like some top people I will always like admire, like oh, I feel like you know, like you have that list, like oh yeah, I fucked that guy, or I mean that girl. Or, Am like, I on that know? list? Accolades, yeah. Adam Twenty Two. Uh, you know, you know. God damn it! Come <laughs> on, man. <laughs> Yeah, in the clout, in the there's a, like a different one with clout, you know. No, definitely, yeah. I'm I'm there's not like, pretending to be getting by on my looks or my personality. There's yeah. like okay, so listen there's a clout to the whole one, song, and there's like, Adam. You know, who I fuck Please and thank you. Boy, you know? If you're we're definitely, really we're definitely nice not the most tonight, tonight. here's another oh, I know. song to play. We're, we're low me. on the clout bar. But I do feel like I'm starting to make some headway into oh, that fray. Sure. Like oh, I'm, sure. I feel like you know I'm I'm kind of on the come up. Something no, probably is going to happen that will derail it. But no, no, you are for sure. Hell yeah! Thank you for validating my clout. No, no, seriously. When you guys were at the Halloween party. I knew that you guys had clout. <laughs> the Halloween party? Um, Where, what are we doing uh, Halloween? We were at Diddy's son's party. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. But we were with Pump. Yeah, we got in with Pump. That, we would not have gotten in if it wasn't for Pump. Yeah. We were with Pump, Still and that's valid. the only reason we got in. Still yeah, valid. but it's super weird hanging out with Pump because he's so overwhelmingly famous and has like a wall of bodyguards around him. And then it's like, meanwhile, like we're outside of the wall of bodyguards and people are asking us for photos and shit. And it's kind of like, no, but like not because I don't want to, but because I have to stay with this group. And it's like a weird thing to be a part of. So you're like... Semi-famous, but not as famous, but just like chilling with super famous people. I mean, that's the weird thing about having any level of fame to me is that you're constantly kind of trying to figure out where you fit in and what level of fame you've accomplished and to what extent it's changed your life and made you not a normal person. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure you deal with this as well. Because sometimes there's certain places that you could go that you're going to get recognized over and over and over. You go to the porn awards and you're famous as fuck. You too. Yeah. And realistically, me kind of like, you know, like we go to or mm -hmm. at the, and that environment, you are taking a million times more photos yeah. than me. But then if we go to the mall or a Suicide Boys show, I'm taking a million times more photos yeah. than Especially you. Especially because like everyone at the rap thing. shows, even if they know who I am, they're so scared of talking to me in front of you. They've told me like, I wanted to get a picture. But... Yeah, I have so many people say that. Like, That's so strange to me because I would never, ever I know. care about someone taking a photo with you. I know. No, no, I got like pictures at Rolling Loud. I was like, I'm lit. Maybe I'm if they lit. grab your boobs. Then okay, uh, then then I'm mad. What if it was a girl? Oh, well, no, he'd be like, "Oh, do it again, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Just grab a forty for something. <laughs> 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 it, you know what is actually weird too is I feel like this is like probably the most in-depth and graphic porn podcast that we've done, and it's weird because I feel like I haven't done a lot of porn podcasts like recently, uh -huh. and. As like I've gotten more well known, it just seems like extra, extra <laughs> like pressure in a weird way where it's like, wow, people are gonna be mad at me for like talking so in depth about all this sexual shit, even why? though it totally seemed normal doing it with like Riley or Carly back in the day. But this is exactly like why people start watching your podcast and stuff and like because of me asking twenty one year old porn stars about sucking fifteen dicks. Well, you're, in a row. you're doing interviews you? that not a lot of people are doing, and you're asking questions that not a lot of people are asking. I'm a real person, yeah. guy. No, I'm I know. a real person. I fuck with you. You're, that's why I called you a SoundCloud rapper to humanize you. No, let's humanize Gina. Gina loves anime. I love anime. She loves things outside of porn. They're gonna love that about you. Yeah. Tell us about what you like in the oh, anime. I world. love Naruto. Like I'm obsessed with Naruto. Like I'm watching the whole season all over again. I mean, you're kind of talking to a brick wall because I don't know yeah, about any of this shit. But anime. they are gonna love yeah, you for that. Yeah, it's great. Like I'm like watching like the whole series all over again and like Baruto. He has a kid, and when like they all like have their kids, that's crazy because they're like. It, it's just like you you gotta watch it. There's just too much going on. Like it's great. I love it. it I've cried. I've cried watching Naruto multiple times. Really? Yeah, it's yeah. just human. It, it's so like, you're making me want to fucking get on board with that. Yeah, you should really watch it because it's, 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 away it, tonight, babe. No, 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 no. I've never seen that. No, no, People don't watch, that. watch it. You'll ruin anime for him. Well, that's the worst part about being 35 is that there's like a significant <laughs> you gotta, you gotta amount watch of stuff. Badass anime. There's a lot of stuff that all these like 18 year old kids who watch my podcast are into that it's just at a certain point I have to accept like I'm never gonna be into that the way that they're into that. Like, I'm not going to get a jewel. Yeah, I'm not going to get a jewel either. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, everyone who watches this podcast has a jewel. I've taken people's jewels and then lost it. Like <laughs> I mean, we, we sell jewels in the shop, 769 Why? Melrose. Why? Because they want them and we can sell them, so we have to. And we already wanted to get a tobacco license so we could sell blunts. I agree with that. Right. No, the jewels are crazy though because I was doing a meet and greet back in New Hampshire. One kid asked me to sign his jewel. All of a sudden, every fucking kid is asking me to sign their jewel. Everyone had a jewel. I don't know. I've never. She smokes more than Rico. Rico Reckless. Yes, this is worth this. No, because she's still on one blunt. Rico rolled like three blunts in the course of like an hour and a half podcast. Oh, well, I feel like there's more smoke in my face, but that's a really big blunt. Rico's are bigger. Wow. wow. I know. I'm okay, just saying. Okay, where's my weed? Let me. No, you, you roll big blunts. Shout out to Bear Woods. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, Rico. Rico rolls the biggest blunts. No, I, that I roll know of. blunts for rappers. I'm certified. You're certified. <laughs> yeah, I'm certified. No, I mean, I know you do, and I trust you, and I'm sure that you could roll a bigger backward. But I'm just saying that, like, Rico to me rolls the biggest, most durable blunts of anyone that I think I know. Because he has a test. Throw it at the wall. Pow. Actually, is that his test or is that mine? We made that up, I think. I don't know. I haven't seen that happen before. If you could take, if you can roll a blunt and whip it against the wall, <laughs> that's a roach. <laughs> if you whip it against the wall and it doesn't break, then you roll the hell of a bagwood. I'm going to do that next time. Yeah. I'm going to film it. 
Definitely. <laughs> I'll be like, I did it. And then all the weeds on the floor is broken. <laughs> just like, fuck, fuck, I gotta roll it again. Fuck. <laughs> what do you consider the craziest shit that you've done porn wise aside from the 15 guy uh, blow bang? What do you mean, the crazy thing? I don't know, just anything that stands out as like, wow, I can't believe I did that, or I'll probably never do that again, or whatever. Well, I got to travel in porn. Like, I went to New Zealand. That was super cool. Wow, really? New Zealand? Yeah. What was your impression of it? I loved it. So you had to go there for a scene, and they used, No, I stayed there for a whole month. Oh, wow. It was great. Doing what? Solo videos. Oh, really? In Mexico. I went to Mexico a couple times. To visit your family? No, fuck off. (laughs) (laughs) Why is this our joke that I always pretend that I don't know that you're not Mexican? Fucking supremacist. Oh, right. I forgot about that. (laughs) I don't want them to know. Oh. Um. You didn't see his ass tattoo, guys. What? (laughs) Oh, they see my ass. Swastika. Well, okay. No. <laughs> it's on his bow, guys. <laughs> I did have an old tweet from back in the day that looked really weird out of context where somebody said, "What? do you have any tattoos that you regret? And I said, uh, yeah, probably all the white power tattoos that I got covered up. And it's like, at the time, typing that, it seemed... Like, it was so obvious that I was joking. You're an asshole. You're such an asshole. How is that an asshole? It's at my own expense. I'm making a joke about me looking like a Nazi. Like an asshole. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, I'm not, I'm not like outside of the joke of like, Adam, you look like a Nazi, blah, blah, blah. But now I have hair. So all bets are off. I'm out of the Nazi club. (laughs) Two years I've been asking for this beard. Really? Yes. I decided that I was going to grow my beard. I don't know what I did to deserve it finally, but. I I decided I was going to grow my beard until I hit my goal weight. You're gonna give me an eating disorder from talking like that, but um, what? I'm gonna grow you my. Have one. I, <laughs> what? I hate you. <laughs> I'm gonna grow my hair until I, I hit my goal weight. You sound like a middle school girl. Nobody would notice if you grew your hair until you hit your goal weight, but for me, everybody notices because facial hair is very like obvious. It's like out there. I didn't have it. Now I have it. I it's like weird. it. I think you should it keep look it. different. I do feel weird, kind of, yeah. It looks good, but it's different. I don't hate it. I'm mean, kind of like whatever. I mean, the hair on my head thing is the is actual cozy? weird part. Does it feel cozy now? The beard? Like, does it just feel nice? Because, like, you were so bald before, and now it's like... Right? Well, it's no, starting to no. get into the territory of, like, why do I have this shit all over my face? What is this? Like, it's stupid. It's Aren't annoying. Aren't you happy it's that you haven't had to, like, shave, though? Like, no, I don't process? care. process? No. no? It takes, like, 15 minutes. I like your beard because when your hair is, like, stubbly and growing, it, like, scratches my face. Does it tickle what? you when he eats your ass? Have, have we mean, done that since this has been growing out? Damn, no. Now I feel guilty. I bet I ate your ass the other night while we were all fucking turned no, up. No, you didn't. You yeah, every girl's ass but mine. Are you serious? I don't know. Actually, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think you ate my ass. Fuck, man. That sucks. This is a I'm a bad thing. lover. Yeah. Like, there was something I found out that was very disappointed. What? Very what? disappointed. What happened? Yeah. That I haven't eaten your ass in a couple weeks? No. That you don't bust a nut in her fucking pussy. Oh, we actually did for the first time. I told her, I was like, you'd be happy to know that Adam was for the first time ever. She was on the rag, so it looked like a big old sloppy blood (laughs) pie. Oh, God. I almost said blood (laughs) pie. She was like, was it pink? I was like, no, it was like red. Plies was not there. (laughs) What? Blood pie, not blood plies. Oh. Um... No, yeah, but I mean, I figured it was like the first day of your period. You had gotten it like an hour before, so it's like, why not bust in that thing? Well, you're you're over here just letting people bust, and you're like, it's no big deal, and you're not on the pill. How are you not pregnant? I don't think I have eggs. You don't think? <laughs> I, I don't, it's, it's, let me tell you, I had a lot of guys busting you, busting, and me. you're not scared. No, you should figure out if you're infertile or not. So at least you know. I don't think know. I am. I, I don't. That's what I'm saying. You I get a blood I'm, test. It's really easy. I don't think I'm fertile. There's no way. Like, like this, it's impossible. Like, I should have been pregnant at some point in my life. I mean, by letting all these dudes bust in you, you're basically asking for it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know how many girls I busted in my life? Like three or something? Like because I was like assured 100,000% that I was safe. And then I finally did it. I think any dude who does that with any sort of regularity is a fucking psychopath. <laughs> Not that I wouldn't be happy to. But at the same time, like <laughs> if it did happen, that's the thing. If it did happen, I'm sorry. I wouldn't keep the baby. You would get rid of it? Yeah. So you're pro-choice? Yeah. Just because, like, I don't want to bring anybody in here. Like, there's enough people here. There's enough people. Yeah, there's enough people. But we do need more people. If no, everybody stopped bro. having babies, we'd be fucked. It, well, somebody has to stop. Like, people need to stop. You it's think like, you're like, probably one of the people that should stop? Yep. What? Do you, what? And I'm like, because I have so much sex, so it's like such a good thing. Like, I'm, because I'm kind of like in the back of my head this whole time. I'm sort of wondering, like, what the perspective on this interview is from someone who's 
someone who does not like sex workers or sex work or porn, even though they probably actually watch it, somebody whose like natural reaction is going to be like, oh, she's talking about sucking 15 dicks. It's disgusting. But I feel like when you just said, well, I'm not going to have a baby, that they're probably like, well, all right, at least that's a good idea. I mean, there's nothing wrong with her for what she does. Like, no, I don't think so either. But, but I'm trying to think about it from, the, from their, their perspective. Point of view. Yeah, yeah. That's they're the like, thing. oh, at least you're not people, procreating. Let me tell you something. Like, at the end of the day, I have this one life. Everybody has this one life. You can live it however you want. Mm-hmm. And if you want to do whatever the fuck you want, do it. If you're curious about trying fucking bondage one day and you want to be tied up or some crazy shit, do it. Right. I agree. In a safe place. Yeah. And that's something I did. I wanted, I wanted to experience it. So I don't care. What people think, because yes, it happened. It's, I've done it. Doesn't change anything about me. Doesn't mm-hmm. ch- change the fact the, the person I am. It just means I had a lot of fucking dicks and I had a lot of fucking sex and I probably so you made a lot of money. And no yeah, babies. a lot of, lot of money and a, a great exposure and I've made it like a name for myself and like so I don't really give a fuck like. I mean, so lo- there are people like that. Like I don't a care. lot of girls your age, their entire social life is going to the bar or the club every, you know, not just every weekend, but probably plenty of times during the week too, and getting blackout drunk and getting plowed by the random dudes. When I was in yeah. her age. But but they're getting plowed by random dudes drunk as fuck because it's they aren't hot. actually in tune with the fact that they want to just get dick down. Yeah. So they go out and they get blackout drunk and then they get dick down and then they don't remember it in the morning. And they, dude they're too. just lying like, to themselves, you know? Yeah, because they want to, because it's a shame, like, again, go back to a shameful thing. Like, there's a, like people are ashamed of it. People are ashamed to be yeah, a sexual to, like, people. Like, you it. know how, how many times, like, I've um, I've met guys and, like, they'll be ashamed, like, oh, like, you know, just to to be like, oh, like, yeah, I fuck with this girl. I like this girl because they're just, like, they don't want to be that bad guy. It's like, who cares? Like, if you're open with yourself, if you're open with yourself and honest with yourself, so it shouldn't be a problem. Like sexually, like you know. That's why you were so happy when we saw. I saw you at a party, and you were with blank celebrity, and I claimed you. I was like, "This is my fucking home girl." Yeah. And you were you were so glad that I was like cl- aggressively claiming you as like my real actual friend. Wow. wow. Well, I'm like tuned into like I, I just felt like that there was something there that you actually felt like validated because you probably had had that experience of dudes like somehow like I don't know why they would be like a no. Or it, whatever, it, it, but. it is a good thing. It's an amazing thing, and I love that. Because yeah, like, that's when you go out and you see someone that you used to like hook up with or something, and they just pretend like they don't know you or something. Is I've that what never, you're talking about? I've never had that. Oh, I thought that's what you guys were saying. No. Oh. No, we were talking about her being happy that I said something positive about her. Oh, I thought it was like because the opposite of that is you not acknowledging her. Yeah, no, I didn't do that. Oh. I'm a nice guy. Yeah, it was, it was dope. It was dope. Yeah. It was cool. I, I felt like loved. More <laughs> <laughs> <Or> loved. <laughs> what do you? Where, where do you think you're gonna be at in your life when you're thirty? Any plans? Oh, man. I hate this question. <laughs> Still hanging out with me and Lena. Oh, fuck. You know, I don't know. When you're 30, I'll be 44. I don't want to be 30. You don't want to be 30. Well, it's coming, babe. No. Yeah. It'll be all right, too. Oh. Uh, what? No. You it's just want to be young forever? I don't want to. But you're amazing. She's, She's holding like, it together. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's like, it's like, I don't know this, like, kind of scary because it's kind of like crazy. No, it's definitely know. scary. If you asked me that at 21, I would have been like, fuck you. I hate you. that question. Where do you, where do you see yourself in five years? Like, you, like, it's kind of hard to see yourself in like in 10 years. Yeah. It takes yeah. a lot of thought and it's probably all wasted thought too because it's not like there's, there's no way you could possibly know what the fuck you're going to want to do 10 years. When from I was now. in college, I thought I was going to graduate and join the Peace Corps and be serving in some country abroad. I really thought I was going to be doing this. And then you met Adam. No, that, I met Adam like four years after oh, I graduated okay. college. But yeah, I mean, it's like everything that I thought I'd be doing. And then I thought I was going to get my PhD in psychology. And then. You know the back yeah. one? Oh my God. And oh, actually, Bear Woods. You really. Well. No, I don't have any bear woods with me. What? I mean, I can give you weed, I and I weed. guess I actually might have, have a bear. Weed. So you have to be rolling up immediately. All right, fine. I'll 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 allow this. Uh, thank you, Adam. I'm so hungry. You're hungry. Want to order food? Uh, I have. Oh, I forgot to. Pull All right, this. let's see what we got here. We have some uh, bearwood Diablo OG. Okay. <clears throat> the additional test is if I have bear woods for you to put that in. Oh, excuse me, backwards. Because I don't have any actual bearwood pre rolls in this bag. No, I don't have a bearwood for you. Um, that I see in here. Whose name can I screen? 
I have I have a uh, a, a do rag, a white long tie do rag. Put it on. Yeah, I don't know if that's like. Let me put it on you. You put not it fold it? it? Yeah. I don't know how to do it. Do you know how to do it? I think so. You need Thanks. something to do with your hands since you're not smoking, right? Yeah. I'm like over here, like I need it. Damn, my first time putting. Well, no, I've put do rags oh, on many awesome. times. Oh, yeah. Whoa, he's gonna look like Slim Shady for real. That's why I got it yeah. is for the Halloween costume. Okay, here we go. Oh. Adam gets a fucking do rag put on during Gina's interview. Let's make it all about me. Yo, how hard are my friends gonna laugh when I walk out there and I have the sun? Is it like this? You know, I really don't know. <laughs> it's very this sheer. looks like a clansman clansman robe fitting. <laughs> it looks very sheer. It's supposed to be like that. Um, very sheer? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a white long tie oh, duvet. Man. What I feel cool already. With the beard. Is this gonna be yeah, I think this is right. You can tell she's done this before. She's dated a lot of guys who wear do-rags. Is this the do I, I don't like she's think this is right. You don't? I don't. I mean, is that where the heart, the bow goes? I mean, I'm willing to endure this. <laughs> <laughs> I got to look at myself. Hold on. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> I got to see how I look, man. Oh, my, my mom texted me. Maybe I should send her a pic. No. Um, <laughs> what, so how does this look? <laughs> is this that weird? Oh, I think this needs to be like a lot more down here, although it's like really. But that's like in your eye. It's yeah. really. It's this is probably how you looked after the 15 guy gangbang. Oh, shit. Or blow bang, sorry. That's supposed to be like are you, are, do you think you're going to win anything at the AVNs this year? I hope so. I know. I feel like I've seen you say that or something. What, do you, what, do you, what are you going for? Are you nominated for anything? I am nominated. Should I put this for what? Um, um, female performer of the year. Wow. Um, best boy girl, best girl girl, best oral, best. Best oral. How do they even decide something like that? I give good head. Pretty good head. Why? <laughs> right, but like a lot of people are giving good head, no, right? No, like... no, I'm certified. If I get this award, it's certified. Then it's certified Who was for the one rest of the of past? Life. Adriana Chechik. Okay. My little plug. No. You could? No, I saw like one dick. Oh yeah. But that's it's not about quantity. I mean, I just don't feel like there's quality clips of me. It would have been tight if you rolled internet. up a wood in the do-rag. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. You think it would have worked? It could have worked. I mean, i I could beckon to these dudes and tell them like, yo. I uh, need a, bear, a backwood for her. But, I mean, we are like sort of approaching like a reasonable time to end this podcast regardless. I think. I can't really actually see it, but I think I feel like we've been doing this for like an hour. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. I don't want bullshit. Bullshit? This is your career, lady. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't see you the time. I don't know where it goes. Oh, kind yeah. Of, well, it's, it's a lot of career questions and then bullshit questions. Yeah. Just and then between. life questions. And then making it about myself. Yeah, pretty much. That's one thing I'm really good at. Yeah. I have to kind of fight that urge sometimes. Because that's the easiest way to fill space in a podcast. Just start talking about what you're doing. What's going on with you? You know? But then sometimes I feel like I don't really have anything that's that interesting going on besides other interviews. And it's kind of weird. Like, talking about your business is, like, weird because it's, like, nobody else can relate to it. Like, when you're a regular-ass person, you're like, man, I hate working at the fucking CVS. Everybody else is like, man, I hate my job too. It's like a regular easy thing to talk about. Like I can't, I can't really talk about that. I got to talk about like, I, uh, God, I'm sorry. 15 guy blow bang earlier today. Um, you know, I don't know. It just becomes kind of different. You talk about working out. Well, he just talk like talks about, about other people's lives. Um, well, that is important. That's an important way to fill time. I think talking about other people's lives, you have to gossip part of the job that's just part of his life and that's why sometimes i feel like i should watch more tv or like just be more involved with pop culture sometimes like there'll be like a record or an album i feel like you know listening to or i'll be listening to a bunch and then that will be sort of the reason in my head i'm like okay you gotta you can't listen to this album 10 more times because nobody knows about this album like you can't talk about this with anybody and your whole job is to talk about shit with somebody so it's like maybe i should go watch the most popular new TV show because then it'll give me something to talk about with people, right? You should watch Naruto. 
Harry Potter. Give it another go. I tried to watch Harry no, Potter. I'm in halfway. Still owe me. Yeah, I mean, I'm down to watch it, like to finish it and stuff because I feel like maybe I I could I could make it through another half. Like it's been like six months since I watched the first half of the first one. Yeah, and that was after a really long day. Yeah, and I just really hate watching that bullshit. But you know, no, I mean, like it's not it's not bullshit. It's just. It's like a little kid movie. It's kind of hard for me to sit there for like two The first and a half one hours. is because there are little kids in the first one. Right. No, I mean like, because a lot of do my- Do you like f- Harry Potter? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. A lot of my fans know a lot about like SpongeBob. There's a lot of SpongeBob memes. I've never watched SpongeBob. And, like, oh one, man, have you what? watched SpongeBob? Oh, you gotta no. watch SpongeBob High. Okay. R.I.P. Uh, to If I was gonna Mr. watch Hellenberg. it, I'd probably be high. No, but I mean like, I watched like, 10 minutes of like one episode one time like fairly not like like maybe a year ago or something just to be like you know is there any way i could appreciate this as an adult who didn't watch it as a kid and i don't think so because it was really just like what the fuck am i watching i'm watching a little kid show this is stupid <laughs> i didn't grow up on this i could talk about rugrats you know i could talk about doug i could talk about sesame street yeah, so that was funny. Oh, I love that. but that's not Bob is like the like the like some underwater fucking creature on crack right yeah like he's just like crazy retarded yeah. Which is hilarious. I mean, and he has a really dumb friend that lives under a rock. Right. It's really Definitely funny. sounds like something that like an eight year old would probably appreciate more than I would as a thirty five year old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know that's kind of a thing. You know, you want to know about what's going on in the world. Like, okay, good example is that like I got into Pokemon Go because I knew like it was blowing the fuck up on day yeah. one. I was like, I'm either gonna try this out. And be able to talk about it on the podcast because I know everybody else is going to be talking about it for the next week or two. I mean, they're going to try it and be able to be in that conversation, or I'm going to be an old man and say, "Nah, fuck that. I ain't playing a stupid ass little kid game." <laughs> still playing. <laughs> two and a half years later, still, still play it every day. Yeah, although I, I don't play that. Shit I feel like anymore. since my birthday party, I've kind of been in remission because I've been playing like you know ten minutes a day as opposed to like my normal like couple hours a day. How do you? Yeah, I mean, it's all about when you can find time, you know? There's not really a whole lot going on in the you game. You don't want to BMX no more? No, my back's all fucked up. Really? Ever since yeah. the store opened, he hasn't been riding? Wow. Yeah, well, even... No, it's this, it was when the store opened, because you yeah, used right. your bike a lot more downtown, especially because... Not downtown, when you lived in Koreatown. Because yeah. the store used to be there, so you used to bike there sometimes, and then you had a, you didn't have a car for, like, a while, remember? No, yeah, I know, because Alfredo's brother... hanging out. Alfredo's brother, you will like bring him your car and be like, hey, can you like, I have a flat tire. Can you fix it? And then he'll give it to you like six months later. Wow. So I was riding my bike for a while. (laughs) I mean, me riding my bike for transportation at this point, I feel like I'm a little too hot for that. Yeah, please don't do that. Please talk into the mic. I'm talking into the mic. It's not registering you when you whisper from far away. I said, please don't. Okay, same problem. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What, what do you have coming up that you're uh, looking forward to, Miss Gina? Um, I'm starting a new clothing thing. What's that called? Like clothing thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting a new clothing line. What's that going to be called? Um, After Dark. Really? Yeah, which I'm super excited. I'm excited too. What are you, what are you thinking yeah. direction-wise? I want to do really vulgar and provocative like clothes. I like, like that. Like, type of like stuff. Anime. yeah, I want to do like a uh, hentai yeah. and like anime because I'm like super into that. No, like, I think that's a good shit. idea. But then I want to do like, like super like vulgar like photography. Like, I want to make it look really nice. So I'm excited. This like, do a show with just like a crazy close up of your own vagina. I don't know. Maybe that and then blurred. Okay, and then your <laughs> butthole on the back, and that's blurred too. <laughs> <laughs> No, your butthole on the back, but then it's like there's like a little bit of poop leaking out. <laughs> no, um, <but>. no. Um, <laughs> that's gross. No, no poop stuff. No, no. That's just me. I'm the only one who's into that. No, yeah. you're not. Is that a line that you just wouldn't be willing to cross in terms of porn? What poop stuff? Crap. Of course. What the fuck? That's too much. There's a lot of things I say is too much. Really? Yeah. You're trying to act like you're all prude over here. Yeah, she said she wouldn't do double penetration. She would, won't do a gangbang. Right. What else? She won't do poop. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm contact high too, man. See? See? I told you it's a thing. Okay. Coolest podcast in the world. Available on iTunes. <laughs> it is available on iTunes and SoundCloud again. It was off for a while. Oh. And now it's back. 
We also have a No Jumper Spotify playlist. Please subscribe. We are putting new music on there. That is a good point. Every- no Jumper Spotify playlist. You're better at this than I am. I am. Nojumper.com right? also has a great place to pick up t-shirts, kendamas, such and such. Subscribe to my girlfriend. Love the plug. She is doing Vlogmas. Oh, yeah. Vlogmas on her channel. You ever think about becoming a YouTuber? Should I? Yeah. I think you'd be a good YouTuber. Oh, man. You're going to do one vlog, and it's going to do pretty good view-wise, and then you're going to be like, oh, fuck. This is like I made off this video how much I made to get dicked down by Bruno Dickens back in the day. (laughs) 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 No, I mean, making 300 bucks from a vlog these days, I mean, it seems... It's pretty pretty hard. I don't know. It's like, like 10 of them. Ten of them, all of a sudden, boom! You got three racks. You Unless go, you pay an editor, and then you're like, oh, oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> by the camera, by the light, I don't know. I've been doing all right with my uh, YouTube money lately, but then it's like the past couple of days, all of a sudden, everything has to be reviewed and a bunch of bullshit. It's just that's a fucking nightmare. You have to submit your videos for review to see if their works, if they're appropriate. See, that's the problem because then, oh, what, yeah. so what? What can I not do? Like that? that literally, if I anything. ever decide to do YouTube, like I have to talk to you guys first. Yeah, you literally can't do anything. No nudity. Okay. I mean, but you, not you, even like you can't wear like booty shorts. I mean, you can wear booty shorts, but you can't like shove the camera up your ass crack. Guys, my guys, videos guys, where I, I talk I, about getting a boob job get fucking demonetized. I don't think that's the typical experience of most people. I think that's. Yeah, I know, but it's because it's, they're like against uh, sex workers. Right. What did I'm like, like my first thing, I'm a regular person, everybody. <laughs> I, I, like I, my, my video is like, I'm a regular person, everybody. Yeah, I'm but I just feel like some people's star. names get flagged and stuff, you know? Okay, Even but like Tana. You know what the problem is, too, yeah. though? Is that you hang out with a lot of dudes and stuff who are like not trying to be in a vlog, you know? Where it's like, or oh, you, yeah. you just do you know things. You know how lit in my life is. Like, exactly, but like most of it are, you couldn't expose know, to the know, world. Which yeah, is crazy. Yeah. Like I wish I can say it, but I don't know. Most of the right. coolest people that I know, or whatever, or people who have the most interesting lives, huge percentages of what they could potentially vlog are off limits. And even with me, it's kind of like that because it's like a lot of times it's like, oh, I'm going to do a meeting about like some project that might come out in six months. It's like I can't, I can't yeah, show that in the yeah. vlog. I can't talk about what I'm excited about because it's like. What if it's not going to happen? What if I, I don't want to fucking jinx it? I don't want it to get fucked up. It's, it's always shit like that. It's great. My, I just got to say my life is great. Like at 21 in LA, being a porn star, you know, being out here is, is a great life. Yeah. <laughs> not, Arjuna is I'm, very happy. I'm not going to say everybody should, should do it because honestly, I've seen a lot of girls become really fucked up and like just like crazy and like lose their fucking mind, lose themselves. I mean, there's still plenty of time for you to do that. Oh, come on. Give me some time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you're only 21. It's like, imagine what it's going to yeah, be like. she's been in the game for a while. Oh, come on. I've been doing this since I was 18. I'm just like, I've been sucking dicks since I was 18. This is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you were sucking dick way before that. <laughs> no, actually, actually, no. You never sucked a dick until you were 18. Yeah, actually. What I were was... you holding out for? <laughs> I mean, you were talking about how you had all these boyfriends when you were like yeah, super young. Yeah, but I never sucked their dick. Why? Because I told myself I would never suck a dick. What? Yeah. I said I I made it known in high school to my friends, all my guy friends, because I was still friends with all the BMX kids, all my homies, and I would be like, "But you had no. sex, but you just wouldn't suck dick." Yeah, yeah. That's not my experience. From my experience, like girls these days, like as opposed to girls my age, like when I was growing up, getting head was a really big deal. I feel like girls nowadays are that's nothing. It's like a makeout session. Girls definitely be sucking dick the fuck out of some dicks these yeah, days. Yeah, I well now it's nothing. I no. can't comment on this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm so thankful that you waited until me to suck a dick. Yeah. Thanks, babe. Do you want me to autograph this do rag and you can hang it on the wall in your house? Yeah, I can sell you. it. <laughs> I can sell it. You have an eBay account? <laughs> nah, I just put it on my Instagram. <sighs> Fire. Like, I mean, who wants Adam 22's do rag? Yeah, I mean, he wore it on my episode of No Jumper. I did. They wouldn't even care about that. They would just care that it's Adam's. Oh. Yeah. That's lit. Yeah, all right. Jesse, so, to the viewers at home who are watching this live, we're going to go get the photos done with her and all that. And then we'll be back and I'll do the rest of this live stream in which I uh, listen to your guys' music and such. The link is in the description streamlabs.com slash no jumper. And Gina's going to actually do a couple photos for us, which is nice. You're going you to tag along with that? You can take some, too. Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm wearing an outfit that probably doesn't match the shirt that you want to... And the shoes? No, because they were actually... They just wanted her to have, like, underwear and then the... Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I don't have underwear. <laughs> I know, and that was the problem. 
Yep, no underwear. Uh, okay, I don't she wear underwear, check. but I only wear it with jeans and dresses. And she's wearing a Balenciaga belt. How's Balenci that going for you? Bitch. She's super high fashion. I got a new Gucci belt. You think I should sh stand up and show it to everyone? Ugh, I should have done the whole podcast like this. I think you would do that with the Gucci jacket. My boyfriend's a bozo. A poser is what bozo. I thought you were going to say. No, yeah. you're not a poser. Look, he has a do-rag and everything. Yeah, actually, they're kind of like a poser <laughs> What about right this do-rag? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking starving. Yeah, no it looks good on you, though. You do? You like it? Yeah. I feel it's like you're too open-minded when it comes to me and my drip. <laughs> I don't think this is a good look, personally. <laughs> It's hilarious. <laughs> it's All right, great. guys, we will be back momentarily. Do not fear. Gina Valentina, coolest podcast of the world. Bye.